Boys and girls, we will be using watercolors this week. You'll need your watercolor set, your brush, water, possibly crayons or markers, and paper towel or a napkin. Hello, boys and girls. We are going to be watercolor painting sharks and whales. These are some examples of paintings, really beautifully done, nice and simple fish, bubbles, water, waves, these fantastic animals, mammals and fish. Oh, that looks fierce with the teeth and all those fantastic fins. All right, boys and girls, enjoy yourself. Hello, boys and girls. We are going to be creating a watercolor painting of whales and sharks and the ocean underwater. Boys and girls, you're going to need your watercolor set, possibly some crayons, you might need them, and paper towel. I have some old paper towel here, I might need some more. All right, boys and girls, here's my watercolor set. I'll need water. I'm going to take a little drip of water and place it in each color so that the color starts to loosen so you can paint with the set. You notice I'm just sort of moving slowly across this set and adding water. I'm going to start my painting with the whale and you can decide where you want to place it. I'm placing it going upward. You decide how you want to set it on the paper. All right, boys and girls. Well, whales are warm-blooded mammals, okay? And they breathe air like us. They're different from sharks. Sharks are actually fish, but they're a different type of fish because they have cartilage instead of bones. But we'll get into that while we're working. So boys and girls, let's start with the whale, such a huge mammal. And I think we can just sort of add a little more water to the black because we're trying to create the color gray. And a lot of water and a little bit of black creates the color gray. Light black is gray. All right, I'm going to have my whale moving his way up in the water. And here's the shape of its head and its body gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner as it goes down towards the fin at the bottom. Simple shape. And I'm going to go into the water again and I'm going to create like a, almost like a bent triangle on one side and a bent triangle on the other side. Of course, they have two fins on the side of their body that helps them swim through the water. One and two. There is a huge fin on the back, but we wouldn't be able to see it very well from the front. And I'm going to let that soak. There's so many different types of whales. I know you know a lot of different types. I almost want this one to have little speckles. All right, well, we can't see its eyes very well, but I want to add eyes just for character. Let's see. Maybe I'll wait a minute, and first I'll add the color. So now I'm going to go inside the whale and start to add the gray. This will take me a moment. Back into black. If it's too black, Remember, add more water to lighten the color. I need more water in this black. I don't want my, I do not want my whale to be too dark. And I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna kind of go over this fin a little bit. I can always add the fin again. Now, be careful not to get your paper too wet you might want to take a paper towel and dry it off a bit. Here's 
just a nice shape for a whale. I have an old paper towel here. I'm sorry, I should get a fresh one. I just want to soak up some of that extra water so I can paint right into here again. And I'm going to lift. There we go. Now I think I'm going to add some eyes. I'm going to go into black, maybe blue. And the eyes are on the side. One, two. I want to redo my fin on the top. And the mouth would be way up here because this guy's moving up. I'm not too happy with these eyes. You can always dry it off and use a crayon or a marker to add some details. Maybe I'll make the eyes a little pen, a crayon. Here we go. That's hard to show up if it's dark. I'm going to try a marker. Here's, oh, that works pretty well. If you dry your paper, you can add details with marker. But the paper has to be dry. All right, I'm going to add the speckles. I know some of these have these white speckles, and I can't use white because I don't have white. So I'm just going to add little black dots for a design. And here, my whale is going to swim up to the surface. I could add the waves of the water. You could add some of the plants underneath the water. Maybe a boat at the top. That might be fun. Oh, here's more speckles. And I really want to add a shark here. I don't want them to really see each other or notice each other. But I do want to add a shark to my painting. So here's my whale. Now I'm going to go into the blue and add the top of the water. Oops. I could put a little boat up here. That might be fun. And I'm going to soften this line with a little more water. There we go. We don't need to paint in the water just yet. I'd like to add more details before that. Let's add our shark and maybe some plants. Actually, before my shark, I'm going to add some underwater plants peeking from the bottom. Maybe just the tops and the tip. A little plant. It's growing under there. Maybe I'll put the shark here or here. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to fit this shark. He's gonna have to be a lot smaller than the whale. And always wash your brush between colors. Oh, a purple plant. All right, boys and girls, now we have to think about the shape of a shark. It's a little different. And there's different types of sharks. I know you've learned a lot, so you could probably make a hammerhead. Well, boys and girls, think about how you want to design your artwork. Maybe the shark will swim right alongside the whale, across. I think I'm going to set a couple here. I'd like to try the hammerhead and the great white. So really, you just need to prepare your brush and make that basic shape of a shark. I'm really looking forward to seeing how you plotted out and planned your painting. Maybe your shark is going to be so huge or your whale is going to take up most of the space. I I made mine a little bit smaller so I could fit more uh, sharks and whales in my painting. But as you can see, some of the examples had the whale so huge. Any way you plan it out is perfect. I just want to add some of these fantastic sea creatures and some of the sea. Don't forget those fins. Remember when you're using watercolors, you're always washing your brush. You can re-dip into the same color and not wash your brush, that's fine. But you want to keep the palette clean. 
and just enjoy yourself. Be creative. Think about what's under the water. Maybe some fish, some plants, more sharks or whales. Maybe you just want to work on the water and waves. Enjoy yourselves, boys and girls. I can't wait to see what you've created. In my painting, I really wanted to add that hammerhead shark because they have such an interesting body and an interesting shape, but their head is shaped just like a hammer. And I'm just adding some of the fins and just taking my time. I guess the things to really know about watercolor is just kind of go slow, add your water, clean your brush, and take your time and let layers dry a little bit before you paint next to them. So I'm not going to be touching these whales and sharks with the blue. I just want to give it a chance to dry, but I'm going to add some of the watery details around it. And if I go too close with the color, they sort of move and blend into each other. And right now I don't want them exactly to blend. Once the work starts to dry or you dry it off with your paper towel, you can draw into it if you think the details need to be a little bit darker or more um, easily more easily seen. Feel free. Just make sure the, the surface is dry. 